Hello writers, welcome back to my channel. Naila here. If you're new to me, I'm a book coach and book editor and I help professionals and industry leaders organize their expertise into books in order to expand their brand. Today we're talking about book editing because before you can publish a book or in my opinion even really start to write a book, it's wise to think about an editor because there are different types of editing. Not all editing and editors are created equal. And we're gonna talk about the four different types of editing, book editing, in today's video. Okay, let's start at the top. Let's start with developmental editing. This, to me, is the most involved editing because it takes your story, your book content, your manuscript at sort of its worst. Developmental editing is an in-depth edit of a manuscript. If you're a fiction writer, this type of editing focuses more on your story's setting, plot, flow, like the core of your story. But no matter if you're a fiction writer or a nonfiction writer, um, which are the authors that I typically service, my expertise lies in nonfiction writing, developmental editing really does check for the fluidity and clarity of content, of book content, of your manuscript, your story. Fluidity, clarity. This is where you check for like missing links, missing um, pieces in a story or a book. This is where you check for the gaps. A lot of rewrites happen in this editing phase. This has little to do with like your grammar and your sentence structure and all of that. This is more so dealing with the core of your story. What's missing? What doesn't make sense, okay? Is this story even readable? I would advise my writers out there, my authors out there to have thick skin when you're dealing with a developmental editor because their job is to help you focus on the clarity of your story. That means they're going to advise that you take some things out, that you add some things into the story. Um, they're gonna advise that you go back at it again, go back to the drawing board, figure out this, um, talk about this more, You know, talk about this section of your book a little bit less. They're going to really challenge the way that you present your story because they're the outsider. You know, you're connected to your story. You're like, it all sounds good to me. In a nutshell, a developmental editor is really gonna help you develop your story. The second type of book editing is line editing. Think of it sort of like in steps. After the book editing goes forth or after you have your story developed, then line editing is probably going to be the next best type of editing, right? That's when the editor goes in and line by line, they focus on the structure of your work, not your story, not like what's missing and all of that clarity stuff that was already done. Now they're going in and they're focusing on the structure, the word choices, the paragraph usage. Think of it this way, line editing examines how well an author can organize his or her words. And then we have copy editing, the third type of editing, the most common type of editing. This is probably what people, authors, believe that they need the most and that is where the grammar and all of that stuff comes into play. Let's make this really simple. Copy editing deals with the rules. Grammar, rules, sentence structure, rules, syntax, rules, all of that stuff where you're like, okay, is it Y-O-U-R, Y-O-U apostrophe R-E? Did I do that? Did I make sure I, all of that, the rules, the writing rules, copy editing. And lastly, I will repeat, lastly, we have proofreading. Proofreading comes last. Now, some people think that proofreading is the same thing as copy editing. I do not subscribe to that school of thought because I believe that someone, an editor who proofreads your work should be different than the editor that, um, copy edit to your work. Why? Because more than likely you need two pairs of eyes on your book. Now here's the tea. A proofreader doesn't necessarily have to be a professional editor. They can be someone that you really trust. They can be maybe a friend that writes well. This is just an overview of the editing process anyway. So you're not necessarily going in line by line or just making sure that everything, um, is up to par. Actually, you are doing that. You're making sure everything is up to par, but you're making sure that the things that were done, the edits that were made are up to par 
meaning there are already edits made. You're just proofreading. This is not the very first edit. This is not even the second, third, fourth round of edit. This is like, can you make sure um, that the editor didn't miss anything? Or can you just make sure that nothing is out of place? This is the final step, the overview, okay? Authors, you can even proofread your work. Proofreading is what you do right before you send your manuscripts to the publisher, okay? It's that final step, the final stage and the editing process. So there you have it guys, the four different types of editing. Let me run it back again. We have developmental editing, the most involved editing that's focusing on your story, what's missing, what's not there, the fluidity, the clarity, what needs to be said, what needs to be done, what needs to be added. And then you have line editing, line by line, an editor is focusing on the structure of your work. Like how are you arranging and organizing your words? And then we have copy editing, my favorite type of editing, of course. Um, editors like myself, we love this type of editing because we get to go in and focus on that good old grammar. Focus on that good old syntax, focus on that good old sentence structure and all of the great things that go along with the writing rules. And then lastly, some people may debate this, but we have proofreading. This is where you check on the overall condition of the manuscript or the book, okay? You're crossing T's, dotting I's, making sure that all of the there, there, and there's are correct, and et cetera. You know, things that may have been missed in the first rounds of edits because, you know, we're human, we miss things. So there you have it, guys. The four different types of editing, developmental, line, copy and proofreading. Okay, so I feel like I have to say this. Aspiring authors, don't let this overwhelm you. It's not your job to edit your book. Of course, you can go in and make small changes to make sure your work is readable. I know I keep using that word, um, but it really is up to a professional editor to make your words shine, to bring your words to life. So here comes the shameless plug. If you're looking for a book editor, I do offer a comprehensive editing service. That means that I combine copy editing with line editing. So it won't include developmental editing, but copy and line. I'll go in line by line, make sure things are straight, make sure your grammar is straight. And the best thing about this is I actually love what I do. I love to help writers and authors present their words with clarity. I love to help writers look better in writing. And that comes with editing. So course. all of my professionals out there, my teachers, my lawyers, my police officers, no matter the industry, all of those who have written your book, okay, and you're sitting on it because you don't have an editor, reserve your spot on my calendar today. It's easy. You can do so at nharv.com slash book editing. That's my personal website. That's N as in Naila, H-A-R-V.com slash book editing editing and what that'll do is take you right directly to a page where you read more about the service um, and then you can click on the link to sign up by way of a digital consultation form i ask you a few questions about your manuscript and then we go through this onboarding process easy peasy right all right guys i will catch you in the next video until then always strive to look better in writing happy writing guys